Hi everyone, so today I will be making lipstick, as you can see by the title, and I'm super excited because this is the, actually the very first time I will be making lipstick, um, so I decided to do it on camera because, you know, why not? Um, I was inspired to make lipsticks because I had found this, I uh, went, what is it called? Antiquing. I went antiquing for the first time with my friends because my best friend is obsessed with doing it. And so I had found this lipstick, which is amazing. If you could see how pretty it is, you just pull it open and it has a mirror in here. And then it's kind of like the, uh, it's kind of like the Guerlain, that lipstick, the automatic one. So cool. So I thought it was beautiful. It took me forever to clean because some woman's got some freakishly waterproof lipstick that she couldn't finish because it's probably too waterproof. Um, and it was really hard to clean. But I cleaned it out and I decided usually I melt lipsticks, but I thought that it might be fun to try and make some of my own. So I found Encore Makeup his. Um, I remember watching his video on how to make lipstick bullets, so I ended up buying a kit. It was only $50, which is really amazing, and you get every single thing you'll need, which is fantastic. And while my battery died, I decided to try and make one because um, I didn't want to be like an ultimate fail. And so this is my very first lipstick I made. Can you see that? It's actually an extremely ugly color um, because clearly I don't really know how to mix my colors very well. It kind of looks gross, but that's okay. So I decided to take the ugliest case. Hopefully when I start to understand how to mix these colors a little bit better and get prettier colors, I can uh, start making lipsticks for you guys and like personalized lipsticks for my friends. Um, so yeah, now that I have that down for you guys, I am going to make the lipstick and show you guys how to do it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your base. I'm going to take the uncolored base so I can show you how to mix it together. And I'm just going to use the little container that they gave me. And I'm just going to put some of the base into it. probably be good for about two to three lipsticks. So I put it in there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to stick it in the microwave for tw um, 20 second bursts. And then you're just going to keep an eye on it, making sure that it doesn't boil uh, or bubble, but that it um, completely melts. So I'll be right back. All right, so here I have, it's completely melted. As you can see, it's all liquid. And you're going to pick and choose the colors and add it into your base. So I'll actually be using this color. It's kind of like a nice, um, I don't know, it looks kind of like a cranberry-ish color to me. So here we go. I'm going to stir it all up. I really like this color. This color is really pretty. You can see that's what it looks like. And you can add this, which is a white pigment, and you put this in to lighten the color. So I'm just going to do like a drop or two just so you can see what it looks like. I've lightened it a bit. This is a really pretty color. I actually quite like that. I put it on my hand so I could see what color it would turn out to be. I like that a lot, actually. And so what you're going to do now is, I have no idea, I have to look at the instructions because I forgot. But the instructions are actually extremely newbie friendly, so it really gives you great directions here. Um, you could also add the micas now to kind of intensify the color or add kind of, you know, a glitter effect to it, but I don't really like sparkle all that much. So now we're going to prep our lipstick mold, and what you're going to do is you're going to take, it comes in two parts like this, and you're going to take your mold release, and you're just going to put about two drops, and you're just going to get all of your molds prepped. So I'm just doing the top first here. So I'm going to do these three. Just like that. If you're, um, if your product starts to harden, you could just stick it back in the uh, microwave for another couple of seconds just to get it really liquidy so that way it's easier to work with. And then right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my fragrance. So I have a blueberry coconut flake fragrance which I actually really like. 
but I want to see what um, love 10 is like, so maybe we'll put some love in there. Oh, hell no. We're not going to put any love in there. I really don't like the smell of love. So, ooh, ugh. It's kind of like spicy. Ooh, I didn't, I didn't like that. Oh, I don't like that at all. Um, we're going to actually put the blueberry coconut in there. So you can put one or two drops. I'm just going to put one because I don't want it to be... No, I'll put two. So I don't want it to be too overpowered. And you're going to stir that together. And then you're just going to pour it into your molds. Alrighty. And then what I'm going to do is corn actually let it just set just a little bit so it's not quite so liquidy. So as you can see, it kind of set just a little bit so it's easier to move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in the freezer here for about 10 to 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. Meh. We'll see. Um, and I'll be back! As you can see, it's been about 20, actually it's been probably about 30 minutes and my lipsticks have set. So you want to be very, very careful and you're going to slowly pick this up. Should easily come out. Just like that, as you can see, three beautiful lipsticks. And you're just going to take your case, so I'm going to use my one as my vintage one. You're going to push it all the way to the top. And push it all the way down so it um, hits the end of your lipstick tube. And then slowly pull it up. And I totally put the lipstick in backwards. Crap. Shoot. So maybe if I just shove it back in real quick. And there you go. You have your nice little lipstick. So pretty. So again, you're going to put it all the way to the top. You're just going to put it on top. You're gonna push it until you hit the bottom, and then you're gonna slowly pull it up. How gorgeous is that? A beautiful sheer lipstick. Ah! So pretty! So this is such an amazing kit. It's so fun. Um, and you can absolutely make such beautiful products out of it. I didn't think that I'd be able to make lipsticks, but in all honesty, it's quite easy. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone. I'll talk to you guys later. I know that last month was ovarian cancer month. Um, we've raised a good bit of money, which I promise I'll be blog posting about it soon. Um, but... Since October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I thought it'd be fun if I made three pink lipsticks. I've been playing with this for a couple of days and I really like this color that I made and it was nice and pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I'll show you the color that I made. So I hope that this will get the color really well. So it's just this really pretty color. So I decided to have a giveaway for it. It's just a little giveaway. See how social networking can really kind of build and spread awareness. So it should be really fun. Um, so come and join me on Facebook and I will be holding this giveaway. I just wanted to show you this color quickly because I did have some leftover in here so I wanted to show you the color on my hand. So there's just the swatch on my hand. It's really nice and glossy and pink. Um, and it's so pretty. I've actually been wearing it these past couple days. I've gotten a lot of good feedback from it. So yeah, come join me on Facebook and join this giveaway. Help spread um, awareness for breast cancer. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Ooh, don't look at my mess.